Welcome back to Odina, Serbia. Cricky Joe here. Hope you're all doing good. We are planting canola on field 65. I have planted a strip of grass along the tree line on this side of the map. I planted three strips of grass along the water ditch at this end. One strip of grass along that roadway over there, and three strips of grass on the far end next to the road that has the ruts. That way we have ample to turn our machinery around without getting hung up. And the 1586 is currently using the John Deere seed drill. Um, I know that this one uh, fertilizes and seeds at the same time, but when I use it in my gameplay, anytime I'm not with the tractor, it stops fertilizing. So I am fertilizing separately. I'm just using it as a straight grain drill right now. Um, we have the Ford. fertilizing with the cheapest in-game pellet fertilizer spreader. And I think we'll catch him at this end and refill him. He is almost empty. Field. Okay, so we are down to 20, just over $23,000. And our sunflowers should be ready soon on field, I think, 42. Alright, let's head this guy back out to the field to finish fertilizing. So that grass will allow us to have ample room to turn around, plus it will end up giving us a supply of grass. And if we need to mow it or chaff it. Give us a little bit extra. Alright, let's send him on his way again. Let's go get our fuel tank for the International. Put our mirrors on. The mirrors do work. Nice little truck. Pick up our fuel tank. We've already filled it up and paid for all the fuel in it, so it won't cost us any more to fill up our international, and it's getting low. Back to the field.
grass along the side of the road. That ought to be close enough. Now, we need to put our fuel hose out. There we are. And let's catch this guy and refuel him while he's up at this end. Popped off. Let's get our cedar back in line. Get him going again. All right. <clears throat> looks like the sunflowers are ready, and looks like the soybeans also. So let's. Set up for soybeans. <clears throat> and our board is getting close, so let's get our combine. Actually, first we need to purchase the corn header. And I have tested one on that combine off screen, and I'm getting the one on the John Deere 2058, which is the Dominoni SL966 version 2 corn speed header. Con speed, it says uh, 6 rows, $25 a day, 15 foot cutting width. So let's buy one of those and let's get it delivered to the farm. Right there, jump in our combine. And we still have our header on, so we'll have to drop it. Let's turn this guy around. I have tested out and determined that the uh, tipper that we do have the gravity wagon, the J&M. Gravity wagon does work for sunflowers. I have not tried soybeans yet. So let's head this guy out to the sunflower field, which is I think field 42. Let's come across the road here and then to the left. Fold 
that. Sunflowers here ready to go. I have noticed that the sunflowers do not yield much, even though it appears that this field has been fertilized. Right. Okay, you should be done. Alright, I'm going to run this guy over to the farm and hook up our tipper, so I will be right back. Alright, we are back with our 7,000 and our tipper on the back. We are going to park it out here by our sunflower field. It does take the International Combine quite a while to fill up. So we will park him there. platform back on our truck because we will need that before anything else. Okay. Drop the seed side. can be put back up or not. Not from here, I guess. <clears throat> I guess it has to be attached. There's our nozzle. And looks like some of our canola has already started to come up. Alright. And we still have our cultivator over here that we need to get back. That too at some point. And I guess this is what, just like a little wooded area? A little creepy wooded area back in here. Okay. There's our dealer. I guess we could go down the street here. See, the Gebby we know is where we have our mixing station. This is Chipsy. Guessing we sell potatoes there. Let's see. Oh, can we even go in there? Can we jump the fence? like over there let's see we'll cut through here make a big circle around it for no reason whatsoever okay 
yeah, we must be able to. Okay, this must be the scale for the potatoes. And then we must be able to come in here somewhere. Do we pull in here, I guess? Potato. 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 Okay. So I'm guessing we pull through here. There's no place to dump out there. Yeah, we must pull through here and dump our potatoes. So. And then we come back out. And whatever. Go back over the scale again, I guess. That is our dealer. Let's see. What is this? This is something. Okay, what do we do in here? Imlek. What is Imlek? Is that a cell point? Yeah, Chipsy takes potatoes. Gabby. Okay, I don't see this on the list. What's behind here? Oh, this must be the milk place. This is where we sell our milk. Okay. Once we have some dairy cattle producing milk, we bring, we'll get a milk tanker and we'll bring our milk over here and sell it behind this building. What's the name of it? Imlek. Well, it has a drop of milk for the eye, so... Okay. There goes the airplane. Oops. There's the Gibby. That's where we take... Uh, stuff for mixed rations and I think sunflowers that's a road this is a church can we go in no okay boop boop we can get out of here okay all right and then here is some houses this is this is a cow too. What's this thing? Field number eighty. What? I don't think there is a field eighty. What's this back here? It looks like a corn like an auger or a conveyor. Is that a corn place? Oh, a door and a road. Well, where are we on the map? Well, that's interesting. It goes right in here. Huh. We could drive through here for some reason. Right, it looks like a cage for like chickens or something. What is this? Okay. don't know exactly what that's for. Hello. Okay, we're peeking now. Oh, there's a guy sitting on the... Guy sitting on a bench. How you doing? Okay. What else do we have here? The Gibby, the Gypsy... The Imlek for milk, the Agrovodina, oh that's the dealer, and the Octopusitosrim. Okay. And then the biogas is that way, the farm, um, gas station, okay, pigs are that way. Who's there? Alright. Okay. A scaffold. Oh. Okay, we can't go in there.
some festive music. Some, looks like some beer in the back there. A little fountain. That way to the biogas. Let's go across here. Okay. Alright. Let's get back to work. Alright, so he's down to 23%. there. Yes. Get the six thousand or so for him just to get us started. Maybe he can finish up the rest of the field without unloading again.
guessing the grass should look like this over here once it's fully grown. And that gives some pretty good strips on the ends. We should be able to either do some bales or chaffing or get grass for our cows, sheep, whatever. Um, we still need to take our cultivator back, which we can't do right now without a tractor freed up. And our truck is waiting here in case he needs seed. So we're pretty much caught up. I guess we could ride with the combine for a little bit. We won't get quite finished with the sunflower harvest before this episode is over. Well, we are making some progress, slowly but surely. I'm glad I didn't have to go looking for a mod for another combine and header. I'm glad that this one does work together. And I'm very happy that that tipper up there works with sunflower. I'm going to assume it works with soybean once we get to that point we'll figure it out. I will test out the harvesting of the soybean before we do uh, that episode so that we make sure this combine also accepts those. I'm not sure if we use this header or we use a regular grain header on those, but we'll figure that out. So, until next time, have a great one, and we will catch you on the flip side.